Hi everyone, this is Theo from Parkablocks.com. Today I'm going to show you some water brushes that I bought on eBay. They were selling at a very affordable price. I bought six brush pans for four UK pounds. So each brush pan is less than one US dollar. They come as a set like this. Now the hair that they are using is uh, made from weasel and wool. So this is probably some weasel judging by the color on it and this is wool let me show you the packaging so the packaging looks and feels very cheap it's just basically a plastic bag with a piece of paper inside anyway these are very low cost brush pens so i'm not sure how well they will perform the brush pens come in three different sizes the one on the left is large this is medium and this is small and these are actually piston type brush pens so you can actually twist the back to push the piston down you can either put water inside or you can put ink inside I'm going to try both later and I can see a stray hair inside this uh, section here there's one stray hair here and there's another stray hair for this brush here so the quality control is not very good and this is how the cap looks like it's just a piece of very thin plastic and if you put this on the table when the wind blows it's going to blow this onto the floor and by the way these brushes they are very round so they will just roll off the table if you're not careful there is a little uh, string here at the back that allows you to hang the brush to allow you to dry the brush properly so let's try and put some water and ink inside to see how they perform. Compared to other water brushes using a piston water brush like this, this is a bit more inconvenient to fill. So with other water brushes, you can actually just remove the bottom section and fill the water under a tap, but not so with the piston type brush so i know the hair is white it's definitely going to be stained with black ink so i'm going to use this with water so let me see how much water i can fill it up with it's a bit hard because i think they use some sort of um, thing to make the brush hard so you have to wash that away to make it soft after washing the three brushes i have here I can see the water is starting to turn dirty so I'm not sure what they use to glue the hair together. I also see some hairs dropping out so this could be a problem when I'm using it later or if I'm using it with ink then the hair is going to mess up the artwork. So this is now filled with some water. I wasn't able to get it filled all the way but it doesn't matter. Let's try with ink now. So let me push the piston down. This is a bit tighter compared to the other brush pen. I'm using Noodler's Bulletproof Black Ink. Now one concern that I have would be whether or not these brush pens will leak. So if they do leak, then these are brush pens that you can only use at home because you wouldn't want to put this in the back and if it leaks there will be a lot of problems I was able to fill this up almost completely so let me test this on some cartridge paper and see how it works I'll be using this cartridge paper made by Data Brownie 130 GSM this by the way is the small water brush or the brush pen so let's see how well it performs i'm not sure if you can see it but there is one strand of hair here i'm pretty sure it's going to fall off later so let's try and test the strokes that it can produce it can lay down a lot of ink definitely and it's very wet the brush hair is has fallen off here so if i want to cover a big area i can do so now this is noodles black ink so it does appear a bit patchy when i uh, create washes like this 
maybe later on I will switch to a different ink to see how well it uh, performs or if there's any difference. Now unlike other water brushes, I cannot press to get the ink out so I do have to depend on the ink flowing. And this hair, this weasel hair is very soft, you can see it doesn't go back to its shape after I use it and I see another strand of hair coming out. And it's very difficult to use definitely because it is so soft it's getting bent out of shape right now. So let me try and get it back to the original shape. Now to get the ink out, I'm starting to feel that the ink is running dry so let me push the piston to get some ink out. I can see the ink flowing. Oops, did I have a drop off? So when the ink is in the brush, is in the bristles, it's very wet. This definitely works better when you have a lot of ink in the hair. For thin strokes, I think it's a bit challenging. Perhaps this is good for Chinese calligraphy, so I'm going to write the Chinese words that are here. It would seem that this brush pen is better when it's used to write Chinese calligraphy or words. So for short strokes, I think it performs quite well. There are pros and cons to the piston refilling mechanism. When you are using it with ink, I think it's quite convenient. You can just twist the back a bit to get ink to flow so you don't have to dip the brush into your ink bottle as often. The downside is now for refilling uh, ink, the piston refilling mechanism is a bit slow. Alright, let's try this with watercolor. This is the Kishio Gansai palette that I have. Let's try the red. So unlike other water brushes, you cannot press this to get the water out. So every time you want to have more water, you actually have to twist the uh, knob here behind. So let me try and write the Chinese characters again. Now this paper is a bit dry so that's why I have all this dry brush effect. Let me get a bit more water out to the tip. I think it works better now. Let's see if I can create a flat wash with this brush. Let me put some water here. So you can see it's quite inconvenient. It's just much easier if I would to just use a normal uh, brush with water bottle. Another hair has fallen off. I think with watercolor, it's easier to create flat washes. Now with the Wu brush, again, the brush is not able to go back to the shape. So if you want to create thin strokes, it's going to be a bit difficult. Let's try and see the what lines I can get. So if I want to go from thin to thick and back to thin, I'm not able to do that because the brush is not able to go back to the shape. So that's the main problem that I have. Let's try it again. From thin to thick and back to thin. Thick and thin. It might work better if it's a bit wetter but I have to keep refilling, keep adding the water so it's a bit inconvenient. Compared to water brushes like this, you can press and get the water out and then you can wipe it with a tissue to clean it. 
but with this water brush you have to twist it so not as convenient and let's try and clean this and change color so this is large so I do have to uh, clean it use a whole piece of tissue and let me try and squeeze the water into the hair again oops not enough water the water has ran out for this water brush so if you're actually using this outdoors and you need to refill this you will have to have some sort of water supply that means you have to bring a water bottle but if you are going to bring a water bottle then I would recommend you use a normal brush instead because the quality of this brush is not that good when you are using it to write to um, create a wash the brush it doesn't go back to its shape so it's quite irritating but that is the characteristics of some um, soft animal hair another thing I want to point out is this is actually made from animal hair so some artists they do not like the idea of using animal hair because they don't know how the hair is um, obtained so this could be an issue as well these are quite fun to use they are very affordable the downside is the build quality the quality control is questionable even right now I can see a lot of stray hair there's one here for the white brush there's one here that's almost going to drop off and here as well so the downside is the hair is very prone to dropping off and if you use this with your art you are going to have to manually remove the hair from your artwork when it dries later on this can be quite frustrating the other thing the other downside is the hairs they are very soft so if you are using it to create washers like this the hair they are not going to go back to the shape so you have to somehow reshape the brush to get the best performance for writing Chinese characters I think this is alright for writing western style words cursive calligraphy where you actually have to uh, create a very long stroke I think that's where the problem is going to be because this is good for short strokes like Chinese calligraphy but for long strokes the hair is going to get out of shape and you won't be able to write as well perhaps I should show you how it performs when writing English words let me squeeze some ink into the hair you have to be careful because you don't want to squeeze too much if not the ink is going to overflow and drop onto the paper so let's try and write with this it's definitely not easy the shape of the hair is, um, is not good you can see this is very difficult to use and it's starting to dry so I do have to adjust the knot behind again so in the end it still looks something like Chinese calligraphy because of the dry brush, the short strokes if you are using uh, cursive letters I'm not sure how well it's going to be I'm not very good at that so I'm not going to show you but take a look at the hair so to conclude if you are not buying these water brushes to write Chinese characters then I would say avoid them if you want to buy this for watercolor users I think there are better options out there like the simple and easy to find water brush like this this uses synthetic bristle it's harder it's able to keep its shape much better and it's easier to refill and it doesn't cost a whole lot more so this is the obvious choice if you want a portable solution to using watercolor and this is best led for Chinese calligraphy now this is not the only brand that I've used I've used other brands of water uh, brushes that use the piston refilling mechanism but they still use the hair like this and it's very prone to dropping so this is something that I really do not like the hair dropping off so that's all for today's video if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below if you find that you do want to buy this brush the link will be in the video description below thanks for watching see you in the next video bye